Hi guys, how is everyone? I hope all of you are doing well. So today will be the last um, topic for this week. Okay, we will be doing No Ordinary Soldier once again. And today our topic is team of the story. So we are going to see how the events in the story help us to come to know the team of the story. So let's get started. Now, the first event that I would like to talk about today, okay, is the one where Sanjay Singh sees that one of the guards were trying hard to keep awake. So, he tells him to go and sleep and takes over the post. Suddenly, he too dozes off, but su a sudden noise awakens him. He sees that Jung Badur has fallen off his chair. When putting him back, he sees a light which later turns out to be enemy soldiers crossing the border. So this is our first main event in the story. And through this main event, we come to know that Chung Badur is a lucky doll, right? He helps uh, Sanjay Singh capture so many enemy soldiers who are crossing the border. If you read the textbook, you will come to know that Sanjay Singh, okay, was um, the colonel or the lieutenant and his guards, uh, they were there to guard, okay, the bunker and they actually mm, fall asleep. One guard falls asleep and uh, Sanjay Singh feels a uh, very pity towards him. He does not shout at him, but in fact, he goes to him and he tells him, just go and take a rest. You are feeling very tired. I will look after or I will guard the bunker for some time. But he too falls asleep. Okay. But just before he takes over, he puts Sanjay Se uh, he puts uh, Jung Badur, okay, on the chair in front of him. And uh, he uh, looks out, okay, over the bunker to see if everything is all right. Now, it's the middle of the night. He is also equally tired. So, he tends, he dozes off to sleep. Now, suddenly, Jung Badur falls down and uh, Sanjay Singh is awakened by the noise of Jung Badur falling down. As soon as he opens his eyes, he sees some light. And when he raises an alarm and he tells the soldiers, go and check what's happening, they capture a lot of enemy soldiers. So, over here, you see that in the main event, Jung Badur is the one actually who awakens uh, Sanjay Singh and he uh, catches a lot of thieves, okay, or robbers or soldiers who are crossing the border. Now, let's look at the second event. The second event is also a very similar one where Jung Badur again takes all the limelight. The soldiers were moving to a new post. Okay, and suddenly, Jung, uh, suddenly Sanjay Singh realizes that he has left Jung Badur behind. He feels very sad because Jung Badur is a doll that has been given to him by his daughter. So he goes back for it. Now, later on, when they're coming back, they hear a big uh, boom. They come to know that the bridge on which they were supposed to cross has um, blasted. That means there was a bomb ready waiting for them. So if they had crossed the bridge, they would all be dead now. So again, it saves their life too. So you can see how Jung Badur is a very lucky doll. Now my question to you is, was Jung Badur a magical doll? Do you think he was a magical doll? If you believe in magic, that is. Now I do not think Jung Badur was a magical doll. Okay, it was just that Gita gave him to her dad. It was the best gift that a daughter could have given her dad, okay? And I feel, okay, that uh, it is Gita's love that protects her dad through Jung Badur, okay? It is Gita's love, okay? And the author is also trying to tell us the same thing that it is a daughter's love which is so strong, okay, that it saves her father and his soldiers, okay, from any... Uh, problem okay through the doll so it's not that Jung Badr is magical it's just that Gita's love for her dad is so strong that uh, her love comes through the doll to the father and to the soldiers clear okay so this is actually your theme of the story that a daughter's love 
okay can protect her dad or a daughter's love is so strong that it can save her dad from any problem clear so that's all for today in case you have any doubts feel free to give me a call or message me and i'll try to clear your doubts so goodbye have a fantastic day and happy learning